So now that we've looked at the social situation, we can take one step further back into the future of the future. I started on this journey with a dream of being more safe financially. But now I look towards the future as it has already happened. And what will the dreams be of that person who achieved his financial security? What is my dream now? And try to feel what are the dreams of your future self. In this case, I get the feeling that the dreams of this future self are quite weak. I would say the person is a little bit trapped in the situation and every way, every change seems to be a sacrifice they're not unwilling to make because they, I would have to sacrifice already so much to get the money and then to sacrifice that money again would invalidate all my other earlier sacrifices. So I would feel very, very stuck in that situation. And when you're unable to move forward, you start to go into a depression. I feel, I feel a little bit caged in if I'm standing here. I feel a desire to escape but unwilling to make the sacrifices to escape, not having a clear enough dream of where to escape to. But there's an unrest within this wealthy person, a dissatisfaction in this wealthy person, a hunger for love, attention, playfulness, all the things which have been sacrificed on this journey. But I feel that the me who has gone on this journey has in a way reached a dead end. He's gotten himself stuck in a corner he can't get out of. But I feel that there is a desire in me, in my spirit, to continue with having my adventures. I don't want to get stuck in this corner of being yeah, comfortably numb in a situation where any action will only lead to a decrease and will not give anything back for that decrease. I don't want to walk into this trap. So therefore I know but from the perspective of my spirit, which can look further and feel further, that this dream will be sabotaged. It will not come to pass, even though I've tried to follow all the steps. It has been invalidated, because you can ultimately only achieve what is within your spirit to achieve. We all have karmatic patterns, patterns of behavior, patterns of the things we should achieve, we should get, or can get, at least in this world. And if you try to go out of this envelope of the possibilities allotted to you, then you get into these situations, where your life will actually end effectively. So it is important for your dreams to be within your personal envelope, within your karmatic possibilities. Then your spirit will be quite happy to embrace with them and you will be able to deal with all these circumstances because they will be in harmony with you.
bother them create disharmony in your being which will ultimately jam your life, your energy body and your relationship with yourself and with the outside world. So it's a damn good thing too that some dreams will not be manifested. So for me it is already quite clear, already in the previous step, that this is not a dream which will fulfill itself, not with the way I am at this moment. Maybe after I have transformed things will be different, but I think it will require a really deep karmatic transformation for me to be able to journey this path, to go this way in such a way that my spirit won't get dissatisfied and trapped. But for some of you this journey might have gone a lot more positive, so let's take a look at the final step.